Hello and welcome to this Setalite 3D version 3 tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover the set list in more depth so that you can manage your project even better. I'm also going to show you how you can create your own library presets so that you can pull in sets to anywhere. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about the set list. Down here in the bottom right, we have a list of all of the items in our scene. Everything from the environment, to the studio, equipment, light sources, props, and models if we had them. When you drag a new item into the set, it'll automatically be categorized in its own folder in the set list. You can search for any item up here at the top. That way, if your list is super deep, you can find anything you need right away. You can also filter by category. So if you wanna see just your equipment, or your lights, or your props, etc., you can find them all here. Let's go over the basic functionality of the set list. First, we have the eyeball icon, which will hide or show that object in the scene. For the lights, we have options to turn it off and on, as well as solo the light if we had multiple in the scene. And we can also change the power of the light here. Towards the right, we have the ghost button, which makes the object semi-transparent in the virtual studio. Next, we have the lock icon. So on the right-hand side, we can click the lock, and now we can no longer accidentally move our subject. For lights, we also have the option to change the gels here right in the set list. Now let's talk about folders so that we can group things as we please. As I mentioned before, assets will automatically be organized into their corresponding categories as folders, but we have complete control over these. To rename any item in the set list, just double click it. I'm gonna call this set move because I wanna put everything in it that I would like to move around together. I'm going to drag my softbox into the set move folder as well as my wine bottle. And now if I click on this folder, I will see an axis here in the middle and I can move it wherever I would like as a group. If I don't want these additional folders, I can simply delete them by clicking the delete button. I can also create my own folder with this button on the top right of the set list. Simply click it and it'll create a folder that you can name. We can also change folders into an axis that can be animated, but we'll cover that in the animation tutorial coming very soon. Finally, I wanna talk about how you can save this setup into your library so that you can use it in any project in the future. To do this, simply open the assets tab down at the bottom and you'll find under my library that there are no entries unless you've added some already. To add an entry, it's very simple. Simply click and drag whatever it is that you would like into your library. You can rename it, choose which folder to put it in. In this case, I just have my library and hit save. And now I have my set that I've built as a custom preset that I can drag into any scene. So for example, I can duplicate this set in this exact same scene if I would like, or if I open a brand new project, I can pull it in there. So for example, I just opened the default outdoor set and made it look a little bit more like sunset. And all I have to do is find my product library, drag whatever I'd like into my set, and it's ready to go. I already have the camera, the light, and everything there. If I wanted to, I could select my light and just turn it off. Or if I don't want the light at all, I can hit the eyeball icon and now it's out of my scene. And now we have full simulated light with the outdoor environment on our set. Pretty cool. And you'll notice everything came over just as it was in the folder structure that we had. And this isn't limited to just one folder. You could add an entire set list, an entire city, an entire outdoor environment to your library. And as a quick bonus, anything that you have selected in your set, you can also right click and choose save to my library here, or just click and drag it into the library as I showed before. So that'll just about do it for this tutorial. You should now have a solid understanding of how to use the set list and create your own custom library assets to use in any set. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to let us know and have fun creating with Satellite 3D version three.